Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. And today we're going to be talking about two brand new map changes which we've had in today's update. Well, it's not really an update, but for some reason Fortnite have pressed something and a bunch of new stuff has appeared. So I want to go over it and talk about it, discuss it a little bit and show you guys exactly what is going on at Retail Row or Mega Mall. I know people call it both, but I'm not too sure why. Anyway, if you guys aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Much love and respect to everyone doing that. We are so close to 400,000 subscribers. Don't forget to stay tuned throughout the entire of this video because i've got a lot of information to tell you guys regarding the stranger things collab which is really interesting and there's a lot of cool news coming around that and also guys don't forget if you want to enter into the giveaway which just ends at the start of season 10 so whenever season 10 comes out the day it comes out i'll be giving one of you guys 2100 v bucks all you simply got to do is use code postbox pat in the item shop all the time regularly as much as possible and then also enter in code postbox pat into the comment section because the winner will be selected completely random by entering code postbox pat into my comment section search section and then i would just randomly reply to someone and if you respond to me then you win that giveaway so it's pretty cool and we'll have to see who's going to win it i'll let you guys know who wins it obviously once i've selected the winner around season 10 time it'll be like the day after season 10 because obviously i'll be absolutely smashing videos out on season 10 day now moving on to the map changes the first map change we have is over at mega mall and there are several here the first main addition which i want to mention is these brand new ice creams which are obviously from scoops ahoy which you can now consume in game these will re apply your health to your character in game so replenish your health i'm not 100 percent sure on the numbers because when i landed here and checked these out unfortunately i didn't lose any health so feel free to try it out for yourself i expect it's not too much probably five or ten but yes feel free to land in here because these are really cool to grab but not only just them there are brand new upside down portals from the actual stranger things collab itself so for those wondering i've already made a video talking about scoops ahoy that actually sits in the fortnite universe and as well as the save the why am i saying save the world as stranger things universe so the scoops ahoy is in both universes it's in the actual stranger things collab and in fortnite so it's from stranger things originally but it's now in both a little bit like we saw with the hotel from john wick over by neo tilted you guys know that that hotel there was actually in john wick which was really cool so going inside scoops ahoy if you go to the back of it obviously it's an ice cream parlor you now have the upside down portal now inside of stranger things if i'm pretty sure in here is where things get really strange but inside of fortnite battle royale things in here just kind of teleport you to another area so you go through here and it will teleport you to another spot i'll play some gameplay of me going backwards and forwards through these so you guys can check it out but yeah there's not just one there is a bunch of them so we're going to go around and show you guys some of the locations of these it's pretty cool to see all these going on you can see me here just teleporting through a few of them a little bit of gameplay for you guys it's absolutely awesome and it's really cool to see this actually taking place inside of the fortnite battle royale universe i didn't expect them to add such a major collab like this into the game so hopefully we'll see stuff like this as well in the future apparently there are a bunch of stuff as well around the map regarding other things to do with the actual stranger things potentially coming i don't think it'll just be at mega mall i think we may see a few other things popping up so we'll have to see if that's the case or not it might not be you know we saw the wreck it ralph collab where nothing really happened at all it was just wreck it ralph appearing on the screen there's a part of me that's saying potentially with this collab we won't even see an ltm we'll just see a bunch of stuff appearing all over the place so let me show you guys some of the other locations it is so we had the first one which is inside of obviously the ice cream uh, parlor which teleports you to the opposite side over here where the flush factory area is and comes out up here which is really cool then we also have this one over here i don't know where it all 100 percent teleport you to we have this one over here which teleports you to another place i'm just going to search around mega mall and see which ones we can find which is the one on the roof up here as well which is really cool they're everywhere in mega mall there's also one inside pizza pit through here you know it's kind of a weird location for it because there's nothing actually in here other than one of them sleeping bags which we always find which we always mention and fine throughout the map change series that i make these are something we always look for and yeah there's one in here so maybe they place that for me who knows but yeah you go through that and that takes you to another location and yeah there's just tons of them really inside of the whole of mega mile right now they have been covered with these upside down portals which you guys can check out for yourselves just feel free to land here 
What's really cool about these portals is when you actually try them out for yourselves, you can use them, you can go through the portal and it will teleport you to another spot and what you can do is you can just wait on the other side and then eliminate the player as soon as they come through. Kind of a newbie tactic but it's fun and I've done it a few times at Mega Mall so yeah feel free to land here and just try out all these. I believe that only located in Mega Mall but we'll check some of the side houses just to quickly check so you guys don't have to do that but I don't think they're located in any of these side houses from what I know. I kind of, I didn't check them out in game I just checked out one of them but you never know they might be located in here. From what I know I'm pretty sure it's just in the main Mega Mall itself where the actual ice cream parlor is. None of these houses seem to have anything regarding the Stranger Things collab which is kind of annoying i'd expect maybe you should be teleported across all of the actual mega mall rather than just being teleported inside the actual mall itself but obviously it's very similar to the obvious the retail not retail the whaling woods base bunker thing that we had going on around season six time we had teleporters in there which you guys could use and obviously teleport from one portal to another which was a really cool addition so yeah none of these houses seem to have much and i'm not going to support any more because there are so many apparently someone did dm me saying you can teleport to the other side but i don't see any portals or anything so if you guys have found anything else let me know in the comment section down below i've already kind of searched this in game i haven't searched all the houses i've searched this one here and i haven't searched this one but with the actual stranger things collab we can expect a few other stuff to come in as well which i'll talk about in a minute once i've shown you guys the next map change so let's head on over to the next map change so many people were tweeting me this and also commenting it in the last map change video which i posted last night this was like one of the top comments by far because i just completely missed it and i really wanted to mention it and talk a little bit about it in today's video because it's quite a major thing that's going on in the fortnite world and that is this brand new duck type thing which is swimming along Along the river now I don't know exactly where it is in the river because no one really commented where it was I'm not 100% sure if you have to get it to render in but we're gonna see if we can locate this duck because so many people were commenting it saying Pat you've got to see this duck you've got to find it it's swimming along the river every single time it gets damaged and obviously moves further and further down the river so I'm just gonna check out the river and see if I can see it I'm on the only river in Fortnite here and I can't seem to locate it just yet unless potentially you have to actually physically to get it to render in in game which could be the potential thing for this duck again this sometimes does happen with a few objects in fortnite you physically have to pop into a game to get them to render in which looks like it's going to be the case with this one so give me a second so after loading into a game and checking out the replay i managed to get the duck to load in you can see a little bit of gameplay of me by the duck for some reason it seems to have a million health i'm not 100 sure why that is the case but yes the duck seems to have one million <laughs> So I guess every time it loses 1 million, it just moves slowly along the lake, unless it's just on a timer. But from what I know, if we switch back to the replay, the duck itself actually started all the way by Lucky Landing, and it's basically made an entire journey down this lake. And I guess this has nothing to do with the storyline at all. It's probably just some sort of summer thing they're doing. Maybe even counting down the 14 days of summer by the time it gets to the end of the map. And then it'll just pop back into the water. It could have some sort of relationship to do with the monster in the water. But highly unlikely. It started over here by Lucky just around this section. And it's been swimming down this lake ever since. It's taken a very long time to move. And you have to get it to render in to actually see it in replay. You won't be able to see it in replay like, like I showed you before. If you just go and try and find it. You can see I, didn't, I wasn't able to find it or locate the exact location of it because you had to physically land at this location to get it to render in in the replay but when it gets to this waterfall i'm not too sure what it's going to do maybe it's going to go inside here maybe not maybe it's just going to go over it's probably just going to end by the time it gets to there i reckon it'll all be over and probably won't come back so yeah that's really it with the duck regarding the save the world why do i keep saying save the world <laughs> regarding the stranger things that's the second time i've said that now the stranger things event which should be taking place in the next few days with the LTM and stuff. I assume it will be something to do with the upside down, maybe something to do with the actual map even being flipped upside down with the portals or just having some cosmetics in the item shop, a little bit like the John Wick one. I'm not 100% sure how they're going to implement a Stranger Things LTM unless you get to play as the physical monsters or maybe even the characters or some sort of detective type LTM, maybe something like that. But personally, if I had to predict what's going to happen with this LTM, this is it now and then we'll see maybe potentially a skin or a character come from the game in the item shot. I feel like this one may be more like the one we saw with the Wreck-It Ralph one with the thing over at Risky Reels, which was over by this location over here, just around that corner, which isn't there anymore. We saw Wreck-It Ralph come on the screen, give a little wave, and then he went off. Well, I assume personally, that is probably what's going to happen with the actual Stranger Things one. I don't think we'll see anything else other than really that sort of stuff happening with this 
well, basically with that, I don't just see anything happening other than the skins and the LTMs potentially taking place. But I don't know what LTM you'd put in for Stranger Things. But we'll have to see. Obviously, Fortnite have a lot more ideas because they have thousands of people working on it. But yeah, it is pretty cool. It's pretty exciting stuff as well. Like, look at this. It's so crazy. It's a really cool map change. One of my favorite ones we've had in a while. And it's definitely worth checking out because it won't be long before all these are removed from the map. I know Stranger Things is basically out now, season three, almost. So you guys are pretty hyped for that. It's coming out tomorrow, I believe. So. I think I'm not 100% sure don't count me on the date there I'm not a huge Stranger Things fan but yeah it's pretty cool and I guess this will probably be gone out of Fortnite in a, in a week or so and never be back so make sure you check it out while you can because it's pretty cool to be able to teleport from location to location other than that that's everything I have for today's video I don't really have anything else to discuss regarding map changes the robot legs and stuff are still the same if you checked out yesterday's video you'll notice they are still the same if any changes do happen though expect a short video of me keeping you updated with what the robot is doing because obviously his construction is very important for the fortnite storyline so i'll keep you guys updated on all that sort of stuff don't forget to go and hit a like comment and subscribe and if you are new to the channel please do hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all the latest map change storyline content and so on i hope you guys have enjoyed and once again this is postbox pat signing out